Well, Tempest started out as uh, first-person Space Invaders. I thought, well, Space Invaders is one of my favorite games. And I thought, well, if I do first-person Space Invaders, that'll be a blast. So I, I whipped it together and had a marketing review on it. And we all played it, and it was, it was okay, but it wasn't a lot of fun. And so right, right there at that meeting, we said, well, should we kill it? And I says, well, I've got this other idea that's, that's sort of related. I said, I got this nightmare about this hole in the ground, and there's these monsters from the center of the earth that are trying to get out of the hole, and you have to smash them before they get out of the hole and kill you. And I said, sounds, sounds good. Uh, let's try it out. So I basically just took first-person space invaders and wrapped the surface into a circle, into a tunnel, and had the monsters coming down the tunnel at you, like coming out of a hole in the ground, and you tried to kill them before they got out, and we had another marketing review on it, and people loved it, and people would come in the lab and play it all the time, and I'd have to shoo them off the machine to work on it, and you know, I knew when that was happening that uh, I had a good thing going. But first, uh, I had the uh, the levels rotating, so you would turn the knob and the and the cylinder would rotate with all the all the creatures on the cylinder uh, rotating with the cylinder, and it was making people nauseous, uh, which is not a good thing. So we figured, well, what else can we do? We'll just leave the surface stationary and move the objects around on the surface, and that worked just fine. It was less computationally intensive on top of it, uh, so that solved the nausea problem. Well, it was very simple. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I had these night not all the time, but I had these a few nightmares about a hole in the in the earth, and there's these monsters that live inside the earth, and they would come out of the hole, and you had to kill them before they got out. And that's that's the story. Yeah, I really get a kick out of seeing people still playing Tempest. Um, every once in a while, I get email from somebody saying, you know, I spent all my college tuition on playing your game. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, I mean, the, the whole point of what I what I did was to let people have a good time and just get get away from the frustrations of normal life and just relax and, or maybe not relax, maybe just, I guess it's not very relaxing, but just get into another state of mind and forget about all your problems and just, um, blow things up. There was only one bug in Tempest, and it wasn't actually a, yeah, it was a bug. Um, we designed security into all the games to prevent the uh, foreign companies from, from ripping them off. There was garage operations in the Far East where they would take our games and remove all the Atari copyrights and logos and put their own stuff in and sell them as their own games. So I had protection in Tempest that checked to make sure Atari was on the screen in certain positions. Well, right before I shipped Tempest, um, I tweaked some of the positions on the screens to make sure that everything was perfectly symmetrical. And I forgot to change one of the checks on that position. And the copy protection then went in and detected that this thing was a little off and set up a, a time bomb that happened 10 minutes later. Well, if you if, and this only happened if your score was between 170,000 and like 190,000. So after it was out in the field for a couple of weeks, we started getting reports of people getting 40 free credits. And I kept saying, no, it's, it's a hardware problem or something. Well, the hardware analyzer actually caught it in the act of me giving the player 40 credits. And it turns out that I was using the, the tens digit is the location in RAM at which to store a 40 um, if, if the Atari wasn't on the screen in the right position. So that, that spread around and pretty soon expert players were getting 40 free credits just by nailing the score. Tempest hardware has always been a problem. They, they never really got it working for long periods of time without problems. Uh, I remember one time in the lab, uh, my monitor stopped working and we looked we looked up uh, under under the the monitor under the circuit board, and it had gotten so hot, and the board was upside down that all like four or five of the components had actually desoldered themselves and fallen out onto the top of the, the lab 